This is Three Talk, and this evening we're discussing you and your hair. Everybody loses at least 100 hairs a day. This is natural, but what causes unnatural hair loss? Please welcome MD of Dr. Alexander's Hair Loss Clinic, Dr. Kevin Alexander. But before we speak to Kevin, let's go to Johannesburg, and we're joined by Gavin. Hi, Gavin. Hi, Nolene. Hello. Thanks for such a wonderful show. Just for you, Gavin. Thanks for calling. Nolene, I just wanted to say I'm 23 now and I started losing my hair from about 17, 18. Yeah. It is genetic in the family on both my mother and father's side of the family. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if there's a way of holding on to what I have left that hasn't receded. When you say you're losing hair, is it like clumps of hair that you're losing or is it just thinning out? I think it's just thinning out because I can see on the front of my head that it's starting to recede there. Okay, so you want to find a solution for your hair loss? And try and keep what I have. All right. Thank you very much for your call, um, Gavin. Dr. Alexander, what can she do? Well, in fact, fortunately these days there are clinically proven medical treatments for both men and women that will never mind just stop the thinning but actually even possibly reverse it uh -huh. and you know they have to obviously seek help from a doctor yeah. who would be able to advise them accordingly yeah but when when is someone just the psychological implications for her I mean, she's 23 years old and since she was 17 she's been losing her hair now when you meet people who have been losing what's the psychological implications for them well you know your hair is probably the most physical part of your body and losing your hair can be totally devastating. It can alter your appearance. It can even age you by up to 20 years. Yeah. And of course, this will have a major blow on your self-esteem, your self-confidence, and that will translate into how successful you are in the workplace and on a social level. Yeah, yeah. That's devastating. Nobody wants to lose their hair. Here's an SMS. What causes lice and how can it be treated? Lucy, traction alopecia. There are topical lotions which will help to regrow the hair. It will take a long time. Traction alopecia is probably one of the conditions that takes the longest, that and trichotillomania, which is a condition in which people actually pull their own hair out. Yes. But, children. Um, Neurotic yeah. children. Yeah. No. No. Like, yeah. Pull the hair out. I, I, I see an advert or whatever and someone says it works, we'll go for, 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 for it. Medical treatment. Well, I think the general public has very little knowledge of the fact that the latest medical treatments do in fact give excellent regrowth results in the vast majority of men and women. And I think that people mustn't allow themselves to be misled by overhyped marketing campaigns and they mustn't let their um, emotions lead them. They must look for real proof of efficacy, real proof of safety. The only way that you're going to find that proof is in clinical trials. And Real prescription only, clinically proven medicines do exist that can grow people's hair back in men and women mm. and have high success rates. Mm. And these have all been through clinical trials, they have a sound scientific basis for working and they have a high degree of efficacy and safety. So one shouldn't go looking for other avenues. Mm. What's the problem with being bald? I mean, for other the avenues. issues that affect you and your hair, from baldness to dandruff. Let's go to Anonymous in Cape Town. Hi, Anonymous. Hi, Nolene. Hello. Great show. Thank you. I would like to know, I've got a problem with grey hair. Yes. I'm 39 years old now, and I colour my hair every month to keep the grey hair away. Is there anything that I can use and decide colour my hair? All right, Anonymous, thank you very much. I'm sure every woman wants to know that. And man, well, is there anything else, Kevin? There are products that make the claim to be more permanent in terms of keeping the grey away. The only problem is that they contain certain toxic chemicals like lead acetate. And so one has to be very careful. And I'd say for now the best thing to do is just to keep on colouring with the conventional colourants. In terms of the uh, surgery, can everybody do it? Or would you advise certain people not to do it? And who are those As people? As with other cosmetic surgery, the selection process is very important. Sure. If, a per if a person is, is thinning and, and there's, there's not much balding, baldness going on, then I send them over to Kevin and he does a fantastic job with his... He does fantastic... Can job. everybody be helped by uh, medical treatment when it comes to the hair? No. Um, same as how Alan was saying. I think everyone should try medical treatment for at least six months to one year and the success rates are extremely high and obviously if you can grow your own hair back with medical means that is an excellent way of dealing with the problem. Mm. But 
I would say after that time, if it hasn't worked, I would then maybe suggest referring for transplant surgery if the patient wants Thank to go there. Thank you very group. much, Kevin. Thank you very much, Alan and Professor. To find out more about Free Talks guests 